Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 18th of April. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director at Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have ProMedicus, IAG, TUAS, Aeris Resources and Mount Gibson Mining. So if you have a request, please send it through. Make sure you are getting our free newsletter but our best stock tips come out on Tuesday in the Dynamic Investor Report, so please make sure you are getting that report. But if you do enjoy these videos, I'd love you to share them on social media or even leave us a review. Our main business is on the management side, so if you'd like to now get my help in managing your share portfolio, then please give me a call. And all the advice here is general only. So ProMedicus, as we, as we know, um, still in a long-term uptrend there. This is the weekly chart. Um, if we switch over to the daily, we can see that you know, most recently we had this very sharp pullback, um, but it bounced back up just as sharply, um, which was obviously a good sign. And then it's gone all the way to retest the old high. So the fact that it didn't just bounce and stay in the lower part of this range before struggling again. Um, yeah, if it was to do that, that would be a bad sign. But the fact that it's managed to make it all the way back up to the old high pretty quickly is a good sign. So I'm not concerned to see it come back. I mean, it's pretty clear once it touches the old high, you get a little bit of selling. Um, you know, that's obvious resistance. But I think what we'll see now is the share price sort of bang around sideways a bit, maybe just use up a bit more time. We might see the formation of an ascending triangle. Um, bit more congestion and then it can be ready to um, head higher again. Okay, IAG, um, if we have a look at this one on a weekly chart, I mean, we could see that there was this resistance level here. So when it came up to that level last year and broke above it, that was a positive sign. Um, and then of course it's come back, it successfully retested that, that level. But we could see that you know, it, it had a new trading range here for 2023, sort of banged around there and then broke above it. So look again, that's a positive. Um, it's back into the uptrend. Um, if we look over to, you know, there are some turning points potentially around this 650 level. So we might just get a little bit of um, resistance at, at 650, but uh, it is trending higher still. Okay, to us, um, so trading very well, we could see it now looks like across 2022 and 2023, we had this sort of cup and handle formation. So you've got this sort of rounded out low, consolidation under the high, and then obviously the breakout in November would have been the buy signal. Trending well since then, um, switch to the daily, we could see you know, rallies up, consolidates, breaks higher again. And now it just looks like it's forming a bull flag. So um, nothing really wrong with the way it's trading here. You just need to wait for this little consolidation to be over. And if it breaks out of that, um, that's in expiry signal. Okay, AIS, um, quick look at the weekly chart. We could see it's it has been in a multi-year downtrend. Um, it seems to be, uh, at least in the short term, sort of reversing course and heading higher again. Um, on the daily chart, so we could see you know, sort of big spike in volume as it sort of rallied here, and then it consolidated on lower volume, and then the volume started to pick up again on this sort of move. So it's doing all the right things. Um, looks like it's consolidating at the moment. Obviously, this was a bit of a sharp move. So I think that it looks like something you'd be you'd be holding. You know, you'd run your your, your tight trailing stop and. Um, at the moment, it just looks like it's consolidating and it could well um, continue on from there. All right, Mount Gibson, um, if we switch to the weekly, sort of zoom out, sort of we could see that, you know, you've got this big peak here in 2019. So it's clearly a big underperformer compared to the other um, iron ore stocks, the majors. Um, it looks like we've got a situation where it's forming, obviously we've got these lower highs, but since 2021, it's been making higher lows. So we've got 
a potential bouncing off support here. So it looks like one of those things where you'd hold it here with a tight stop, obviously under that line. Um, you'd expect to move back up towards the recent high. Um, and then we just have to you know, reassess from there. I mean, is it going to form another lower high and then head lower, or is it going to actually break and make a, a higher high and do something more interesting? Impossible to know, but you know, at the very least, if you're looking as a short-term trade, you know, hold it here, tight stop there, and you'd be looking to take profits there. Okay, well, that's all for this week. If you have a request, send it through, and we'll cover it next time.